Hey, what's happening everybody? Welcome, welcome back. Jim here. Hope everyone is doing well and making great music. Today is a special treat because I want to get deep into MuseScore's accidental cautionary accidentals, learn about shortcuts, how to find shortcuts better, and how to add cautionary accidentals or in harmonics globally. That's right. So just a click or two or a shortcut, you can apply cautionary accidentals throughout the whole piece or part, if you will. So let's go. All right, so we're going to go deep into this lesson just to make sure everyone knows when you're moving a note up or down just using the arrow key, you'll get half steps. So check out seven. Now, if you want the steps to be diatonic in the key, so we're in D major, you go ahead and shift and alt down. So that's just a quick little tip. So yeah, it's really easy to get accidentals in MuseScore because of the way they have it. But I'm going to go a little deeper starting right now. Before we go super deep, quickly go to palettes, F9, and you can find accidentals there if you just need to access that. We are going to now talk about enharmonic notes. We have an A sharp here, so who knows what the enharmonic is. We can switch it if need to. Press the letter J. The older Muse score, I think it's Command or Control J, but it's just J. So some notes have more than one in harmonic. So look at B. I'm going to toggle J two times. Uh, we won't go there for now. So that is one shortcut. You can also select uh, in harmonics a bunch of notes and then go ahead and press J. And then you have that. Could be a fun worksheet. All right, before we get into the beefy part of the lesson, I think we should go on a field trip. So we're going to go to edit preferences. I want to talk a little bit about shortcuts. After preferences, I have it open already, shortcuts. Let's say you need to find sharp or natural. In MuseScore, you have to program the shortcut. I know it's easy to do. You can drag and drop it. But again, if you want to apply a bunch of sharps globally, this is easier to do. And I just like shortcuts. So how do you find things that you need? Yes, you can just type it in the search bar, right? Sometimes it doesn't work that well. For instance, I'm going to find sharp. I don't see anything. What I'm going to do now is type in flat. So anything that we put into the score, like notes, think note input. When you type in note input, you will find many wonderful things. What I have here is, if we look, bring my mouse over, right over here is what I want. These are shortcuts that I have defined. So if I say Alt Shift F, that's me saying that's my shortcut and that's a flat. And that is a great thing to do. And then for new, for natural, Alt Shift Natural and then Alt Shift S. Okay, while we're here, let's go ahead and check out the accidentals, the cautionary accidentals, the bracket and then the parentheses. So how would we find that? I'm thinking you could just type in accidental and see what comes up. All right, so this is cool. We have add brackets to the accidental, but we don't have parentheses. This is where you're going to be kind of inventive when you're using the search and shortcuts. I believe I created that shortcut now. You might think, oh man, we don't have an option for parentheses shortcuts, but we do. I'm going to type in parentheses. Let's see what happens. It's already up and that shortcut is built in. So that's a good way to kind of, I don't want to say manipulate the search, but you have to use different wording. There you go. Now to the beefy part of the lesson. All right. It's all about selecting C sharp, just one note. And now it's right mouse click time. We're going to go to select. We're going to go where it says more. This is where magic happens. You're going to go to same pitch. I'm going to click on C sharp if you only want it that range. And then I'm also just going to select this. All the notes that are C will be highlighted or some are C sharp, as you can see. What I'm going to do now is just use my shortcut that I built, Alt Shift S, and you'll see a measure of four, five, and six. They'll be sharped. Yay. So that is really helpful and fast. Now I need to make them cautionary accidentals. So I'm going to click on the sharp, measure four, right mouse click again, select, go to more. After that, you can tell it's a little different. We're going to click on the same subtype. That's important because if you don't click on that, then you'll have cautionary accidentals on flats and whatever else you've got going on. After that, we're going to click OK. Now I'm going to try my shortcut first, the bracket, and you should be able to see, look at measure four and five, six. You'll see the bracket cautionary. Let's see. Yes. Now I'm going to try with parentheses. So quick review, you click on one accidental, go to more, click on subtype. Can you imagine though, like if you have 25 Cautionary accidentals saves lots of time. You can see that the C sharps are highlighted. So now it's shift and then parentheses. There it is. That's awesome. Okay. I'll warn you. There's a, a bit of a twist in this. 
So some notes are going to have cautionary accidental. So let's look at measure two. See that A sharp? That's really not in parentheses. That shouldn't be there. If you don't have many, this is easy to do. What you do is, and I'm going to hold control and shift down. I'm going to click right on that sharp. It gets rid of that. If you have two or three of these, you can go ahead, control shift, and then just click on that note. That's the fastest way I know. Pretty cool. Hey, real quick, I forgot to mention if you pre-select measures four, five, and six, and then you want just cautionary accidentals on that or assigning C sharp, you will still have it throughout the part. Again, that's for my discoveries. And there is a plugin for this, but from what I understand, it doesn't work with the newest MuseScore. I've tried it and I haven't had luck. Wonderful everything, Mark Sabatella, MuseScore, he's looking into it too, so that's a great thing. And on a side note, you should look into his classes, Mastering MuseScore. I'm not getting paid as a commercial or anything, it's just being a musician. Lastly though, if you find value in my content and you want to help the channel out, please consider subscribing because I have a lot of videos on MuseScore and I'm building videos on music theory and piano playing and building off of that as well as composing and all that good stuff. Thank you for checking out the video and I hope everyone is doing well and continue to make great music. Bye for now.